There he is, yeah. walking in the room. I might not end up in the hall of fame. Come on, I'll have a seat, my friend. Look at this guy. I got a, a low-cash jacket. I would see that, yeah. I'm gone. Sit right there, put your headphones on. What, what's up, buddy? What up? Your song's playing. I love this song. So you know this dude walked into this. Name Sheila, she goes bash. On tequila, got a job. When you record that, you don't actually cut out the word, right? You don't do a version, they just cut it out, right? You don't go back. No, I was highly against cutting that word out. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do to get done what you need to get done. Well, yeah, because you can't put that on the radio, Jake. Yeah. Well, so. it is funny, though, how many people r recently have told me that they're little, like, it's my fault that they're little kids are, 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 are knowing a bad word now. Oh, yeah. they know the, the, your fault. I yeah. saw uh, you pulled all your Instagram photos down. I was going to ask you about that, but then I looked, and then you switched it back, and you announced a record. I did. When you pull all your photos down, everybody go, what's happening in your life? Or do they know it was a record coming? I had a lot of people asking me what was happening in my life. Because I was life. almost going to text you and be like, are you okay? Like, what are you about to do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um... This is a really big time in my life right now um, with this new record. I, I have so many crazy things going on between new record, a baby, literally in like 10 weeks, um, putting together, you know, our tour. I'm filming a movie. Um, it's a lot. And so I kind of wanted to just wipe everything, start fresh and clean. And this is like the new start for me. Tell me about the record then. What can you tell me? Okay. I can tell you all that um, it is probably the most... Um, like personal kind of record for me as far as I know you hear that from a lot of artists but I've I've also put out five albums and I've kind of you know throughout that time you really get to learn a lot about yourself and a lot about who you are what you want to say where you've been where you're going who you want to be um, and throughout my career I've, I've kind of learned that about myself and I'm super excited that this album's called greetings from Jake and it's almost like if, if I sent a postcard to somebody from out in the vacation land that I that I long to be in um, that this each and every song is just it's like a personal note for me to them letting them know about my life and where I am and what I what I what I want to say. And when's it come out? Uh March 29th. That's correct. I have it here. I just want to <laughs> Yeah, you I just want to see if I well, know I, I know yeah. everything you're about to say. I just want to let you say it. You don't know everything I'm about to say. And all of that I knew. Okay. But well, I, don't, I don't know what else, but I would like you to it's your message. I would like mm. you to share your message. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. I um I enjoy sharing my message as well. And I appreciate you guys allowing me to share my message. So thank you. Are you putting any of the songs that are out so far on the record, some that you've been releasing? Uh, so are, are you asking the songs that are already kind of... Yeah, like the newer yeah, we ones we released you put um, I Was Jack, um, Down to the Honky Tonk, Made For You. That's my favorite song. And uh, thank you. But, yeah, um, so you can put that on there or no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's on there. And I think I can explain this. This was something that's really flattering for me. I've never been asked to do anything like this, and I didn't know I was a wedding singer. But uh, I'll gladly be. Um, I was at St. Jude Children's Hospital um, doing um, the, it was the 25th, it was the 25th and 30th annual, um, and was so honored to be given the um, Angels Among Us Award by Randy Owen. And during that time, Michael Ray was there, and I played that night on stage, Made For You. And afterwards, Michael came up, and he's like, man, I don't, I don't know how to ask you this. Like, this is kind of weird, but it's like Carly and I love that song. He's like, if you're in town, will you play it at our wedding? Oh, come on. Really? I, I th Whoa. Yeah. Right, right. In person? It's like yeah. not even a text. I, yeah, no, yeah, he just <laughs> straight out asked me. And uh, and I'll be honest, like, I was overly flattered, and I will 100% do it for them because I will be in town. I already marked it off my schedule. Um, but, I mean, they're great, great people, great artists, great singers, and to think that it's funny how a song sometimes can take over everything. And I don't think you just asked me to sing at his wedding, but that song means a lot to them. I think it means a lot to a lot of people. It's a real song. And once again, it's one song of many on this new album that says a lot. And it says a lot about who I am and what I what I believe in and love. And so I'm excited about it. Yeah, that's my favorite song that you have you put on a long time. Love it. Thanks, man. I, I, first time you played it, wasn't even out yet. We were doing Andy Roddick's charity event. We were there together. You're and right. you played it, and I, and I was like, because we flew back together, and I was like, dude, What's up with that song? And you were like, it's coming out in a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Thanks a lot. So, all right. So the record's coming out on the 29th, which is yeah. pretty, I'm glad that, because here we are, it's March 1st today. So this month it actually comes out. I'm glad it's not like three months away. Because I get annoyed when someone goes, we got a record coming out in November. And you're like, it's freaking February. Yeah. Um, 
likewise. And that's that's been great. I, I'm I'm saying this with them sitting here, uh, but my whole team at Big Loud Records and my management, everyone, we're, we're really excited this day and age to be able to like. When we're ready to throw stuff out there, let's just put it out there. People are eager. They're ready and waiting. And um, it's not only, you know, we're here to promote, obviously, this record, which I know you love when people come on your show just to promote their records. But uh, I'm actually working on so much other stuff as well. Like, um, we're going to do a cool thing, like Sounds from Soundcheck deal this year, where, I, you know me, like, I love all different kinds of music and all songs. And um, so we've been recording a lot of stuff out on the road live and going to end up putting out some live stuff as well. So uh, look at this guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited about the movie because who else is in it? Um, well, I know I've heard, but now I don't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dakota Johnson um, is in it. She was the Fifty the Shades, Shades of Grey girl. Yes. Uh, now that I know, I just heard. Uh, Jason yeah. Siegel, uh, Casey Affleck. Um, Have you started that? Yeah. It, are you loving it? Is it's, it weird? It's to intense, act? man. It's intense. Do you, how do you? I mean, what do you do to? Prepare? I mean, did you uh, take lessons? So, uh, no. Uh, I was recommended though. I've been recommended many times uh, by folks. They're like, yeah, you need to call this guy. He can help you with the acting, but. Um, <laughs> it, I can't without giving I, they t I can't give away too much of it but I will tell you that the story this is a beautiful story man about uh, of a true it's a true story um, about a husband and a wife that um, uh, were going through some some tough things with her health and and they have a friend that decides to just move in that's and, you and no that's not me I'm no. a friend I'm a friend of the friend okay um, but uh, it's an unbelievable story that's like I said it's true to life and are I we think gonna it, cry but what are you gonna do yes like, yeah, you're gonna cry but you're gonna laugh and you're gonna, and you're just gonna realize that not only does everyone go through these normal things in their life, and like I said, this is a true story of these. This couple was from Fairhope, Alabama, um, and their friend decided to move in with them to help them out with everything she's going through with her health issues. And uh, and it's just, it's the, it's you realize throughout this that watching the relationship that everybody's got issues with relationships, and as a friend, you want to be always that friend to someone. You want to feel that someone can rely on you to be that friend. Yeah. And um, that's what I, I I just I love it, man. You're gonna There's be in a, a movie. Good... That's so crazy. You're gonna be like in a movie theater. Is that weird to you? It's super weird. <laughs> it's super weird. And what's even uh, more odd was the other day I was sitting in the um, uh, trailer makeup trailer, and Dakota was sitting next to me, and I I'd said hello to her a little bit. She's just sitting there. She's so nice and like, but my thought in my mind was like. <laughs> This is the chick for Fifty Shades of Grey, <laughs> you know? And she's like, Jake, and said it that way. And I was like, Dakota. And she is like, I really love your music. And I was like, thanks. She's like, no, it just really makes me feel good. Like, I feel happy when I listen to it. And um, it made me feel good. And But I say that because it was kind of surreal. Like, I'm sitting there, and I don't know. I feel like that maybe that's the way people see when they come to shows and stuff. Like, the people they see, they're not always in their hometown. So that person they see on stage is like, they only see them on the on on TV or on this videos and things. So, I, it was in that moment for me where I was sitting there. And the only re, only way I have know her is like, you know, the movies. Yeah. Yeah. So it's that, pretty neat. Yeah. And and Jay, yeah, yeah, all of them. I mean, they're just normal people, just like all of us. That just they're really nice, and it's been it's a really cool experience. I'm just learning a little bit, uh, lots of new things right now. How intimidating is it to walk onto a set and have to do what they're all super trained that, at? That was really, really hard because I kept looking around for affirmation that what I was doing was okay because no, they, they don't, they're not like catering to me because they realize I'm the kid that doesn't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm just trying to figure out as I go. But isn't that life? I mean, yes. I don't think any of us really know what we're doing. We think we do. We're trying to do what we think we want to do. But throughout life, that's what it's about, man. It's about figuring it out as you go. And uh, I'm just at a place in life where I'm happy with that, knowing that I'm figuring it all out. Bobby told me the other day, if anybody tries to tell you they know what they're talking about, don't trust them. Yeah, they don't. I mean, yeah, nobody knows the, what they're doing. No, we're all trying, mm -hmm. you know, and we get frustrated when it's not going the way we think it should. But that's the way life should be. Like, it shouldn't go exactly the way you plan it. It's it's that's the journey. I posted this thing on my Instagram there. I took my daughter to uh, Vail, Colorado. Um, can I pull this up and, and yeah, read it yeah. to you really quick? And I just I don't know why this relates so easily back to uh, back to what this is all about. Um, uh, I got okay. Here it is. So. I was walking into this little, you know, um, mountain coffee shop or whatever with her to get her something warm like a hot chocolate. And right there it said, uh, on this board written down, I snapped a picture. It says, in this life, we're all just walking up the mountain. We can sing as we climb or we complain about our sore feet. But whatever we choose, we still got to do the hike. And uh, I really loved that, man. And I think I try to, I saw that and it was almost like a reminder of how we all, you know, got to live our life. Look at this. Love it.
doing something new. The acting thing was weird for me because I, cause I did a couple. Like, I did a, a little movie. I did Nashville a few times. But I felt so insecure because everybody else was a trained at that. Right. And I'm the weird guy. And again, nobody cares. I'm the weird no, guy. And they, don't, and they expect that if you're there, you should yeah. know what you're doing. And they don't clap for you if you do good. It's expected. It's like, oh, you did good. Cool. Let's do, the next, let's do it again and do the next thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, do you feel? Because those are big stars. Like, I was with Connie Britton. And yeah. I was like, oh, my God, she hates me. And you were with Lisa Kudrow. Your makeup well, trailer story movie, is being next well, Lisa to Kudrow. Lisa Kudrow from Friends. Friends. Yeah. That was weird yeah. and cool. Well, you know, you're really supposed to know the script and know your parts and everything and because people that are there that already know theirs are relying. It's like being – it's like – doing what we do on the road you know like i'm expecting that my band that my bass player knows i'm on this next song what notes to play because i'm not playing them that's his job to play them and uh so that's kind of the way i felt they're like well here's his my part you know it's my part to do something and if i don't and I, there was a couple of times like i didn't do it right and we just like start over and i was oh, like sorry down. guys yeah i know sorry i'm, I'm the guy who shouldn't be here you know but it was they're, cool but they're all good they're all cool to you about that like they're like every one of them was so nice and so they they were just they were really really helpful and accommodating and um it, i really I, I i'm not saying this to tout myself or anything but the this movie is going to be amazing it really is it's a it's a true story can we tell them that the uh that it's based upon a tr so there's an article. You can check it out, read it. It'll really let you know more about what this movie is about. It was uh, published in Esquire magazine by the husband. Uh, his name is Matthew Teague, and he wrote it about his wife. and And it's and the and the article in Esquire was called "The Friend." And uh, this these producers and directors got a hold of this, and and they were like, "What a beautiful story!" And and then they put all these characters together and um, actors, and somehow or another, I became part of it. But um, are you done shooting? No, um, I was just there last week, um, and then I'll go back next week, and I'm there for like another two weeks. You must have oh, significant I'm gonna lines. Cry. Why? You're gonna I'm just gonna up? cry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you, Amy, when you asked me that, I was like, yeah, you're definitely. I mean, I'm, yeah. You're gonna I mean, cry. It's, like but that's okay I, though. We need those. But movies. you need that, yes. and that's what I've learned with this movie is that there's lots of things about it that I'm like, mm, man, that's really that that that's touching and it hurts you deep. But, but you need but to the, feel you that. You need that, and you need mm -hmm. the laughs in it, and you need you need everything that this movie is. Is that's what that's the best way I can explain it. And when's it supposed to come out? Do we know? Uh, I do not know when that is supposed Probably to be. By 2020, if I'm guessing? Uh, Takes a while? I would definitely say next next okay. year, as it was kind of, you know, what I ever heard. But whoever just heard me say that from the movie place. I don't. said it. Yeah, Bobby, I'm Bobby said it. That's right. Let me ask you some other stuff here. Come on, ask me, man. All right. Let's talk about the song, by the way. Uh, ACM Nom. Come on. I love this song, too. Yeah, I was Dude, talking about hey. the other one. But you know, I love this song, too. You guys, uh, thank you very much. Since this has come out, y'all have been no. overly... Um, if it wasn't Helpful. the jam, we wouldn't be, though. You know that, right? Yeah, like, you're probably right. Uh, pretty sure but, it's in the Friday morning dance party all like the time. every week. Thanks a lot. Um, this is one of those cool songs that, um, for me, again, go, even going back to this whole record as a, as a note for myself, like I love country music. I always have. Um, I have go through my ebbs and flows of reaching back into my Florida roots and kind of doing some of the uh, more coastal, fun beach songs. But when I'm not doing that, like I love living in this lane of great country music. So... Um, to, to know that this song, I've had so many people reach out to me from other artists that tell me they love the song to songwriter friends of mine. And uh, and it's called Down to the Honky Tonk, man. I mean, ACM Single of the Year nominee. Single. Come on. Yeah. Come on. It's crazy. I haven't been. I haven't. Uh, I won the top new male vocalist award. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. And uh, I've never performed on an award show, the ACMs or the CMAs. I've never. Uh, and I haven't been back up there since. And um and and that's okay. Like I feel like that's part of this journey. Again, as we said, like you got to make the hike. You got to take the climb. And all these years, we've been chipping away at it. And we have a team of people that have like helped for a lot of years and a lot of time to work and make this happen. So it's not just me that's excited after ten years. It's everybody involved, and uh, that makes it even better. What about the tiny house? Let's get an update. I don't have a tiny house anymore, y'all. Okay. You're out. I'm out. I'm ready for a baby. I've got a baby on the way. You got a big so, house now. Uh, down a back road. Uh, <laughs> um, big no, house. it's not a big house. No, dude, I live in like a, a barn dominium. I built a uh, barn with a living quarters on it for now. I'm going to take my time and then I'll decide where I want to build a house. But right now I'm just enjoying. So you went from the little house to the barn and then now you're yeah. sketching the bigger house. Yes. What's up with the, the, the new baby about to come? How's, how's Erica? How's everything? Erica's awesome. Uh, we only have 10 weeks. Uh, her, her name is Paris. I was just telling this to Robin outside. She gave me a t-shirt um, that, that 
because we're always laughing about how much I like pho, like uh, pho, whatever you want to call the it. Bowls? No- noodles. The noodle yeah. bowls? Yes. Love it. Um, but did not know this. This is this is just coincidence. Um, I wanted something to go well with Pearl. So Paris and Pearl sounded great together. Erica's last name is Hartline. Uh, so we like the name Hartley. So we named her Paris Hartley Owen. And then it was like three days later that I realized that her initials are pho. Oh, <laughs> yay. You can have it That's at all funny. her birthday parties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, Jake Owens here, he announced earlier that he's got a new record coming out on the 29th this month. So Yeah, some cool um, stuff, man. Cool stuff. I believe you. I got I, My first album that I did collaborations, never done any collabs before. You, do you want to tip us off on one of those collabs? Uh, Kid Rock. Them? Really? Yeah. Okay. Which well. was great because just like your face right there, like we were in the studio the other day and, and Kit, Bob... Kid Isn't rock. that weird to call it? Because he's yeah, like, well, I can never like. There's times where I want to be like, because he's acting. I want to be like, you're Kid Rock right now. Do you call him? Then, I won't call him Bob though. It's yeah. weird to me. Oh, I have to. I call him Bob. You all do. Time. But how we got to how we met each other was well, we've always known each other from the same circles. Uh, but I don't know. A couple years ago, when uh, Top Golf opened here in Nashville, he, Nashville, he was next to me in the um, in his like bay, right? I'm like, what's up, Bob? How you been, man? He's like, good, good. What you been doing? I'm just blah, 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 you know? I said, how about yourself? He's like, whew, just playing a lot of pickleball lately. I was like, what? Pickleball? I love pickleball. So we started talking about pickleball. What's pickleball? Exactly. Pickleball is like stand-up table tennis, kind of, except it's on a small tennis court. You play with like a paddle and a wiffle ball. It's the most addicting, fun thing ever. But if you're standing there at Top Golf that night watching me talk to Bob, Kid Rock, you're not thinking we're talking about pickleball, right? So uh, we're talking about pickleball, and he said we should play sometime. So we've been playing all the time. And by the way, he beats me every single time. Where and, do you? Play? And I'm competitive, and I think I'm pretty good at most things I do. Uh, he beats me every time. So and where do you play but pickleball? Yeah, where? Yeah, like where do you get pickleball a court? Park? Like there... a pick, pickleball? Oh, you have one I mean, at your, in your barn. Kid Rock has his own oh. Kid Rock pickleball oh. court, okay, right? That makes sense. But uh, well, but but how did you play before that? I mean, where? How, like, uh, is this a sport? Uh, it's a, it's, it's a, yeah, it's like a real thing where people are hardcore about it. But uh, so yeah, we we started, like at the Y. Like where yeah, are they playing? played at the Y mostly. If you look over, it's mostly seventy to eighty year old men okay. playing it. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So Kid Rock will be on the record. Kid Rock, that's fun. Um, girl named Lele Ponce. She's um, she would she's uh, South American. It's on a song that's called Senorita. Um, so I don't know if I've given away too much information, but you can never give away too much to me, but yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, there's some really cool things and I'm, I'm excited. Like I said, this, this, this album really represents me well. We're going to run, run this by you real quick. Let's do it. We're going to play, uh, name the, uh, celebs honky tonk in honor of down to the honky tonk. I'll give you the celebrity. Tell me the name of their honky tonk bar. Ready? Oh, uh, fun game. Mm-hmm. It's a fun game. Mm-hmm. Florida Georgia line. Uh, FGL House. Correct. Alan Jackson. Uh, Alan Jackson's Good Time Bar and Grill. Yeah, right. Good. Wow. Good, good. Hmm. Dirk Bentley. Dirk Bentley's Whiskey Row. You may know all these. Uh, Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton's I Love This Bar. Old Red. Old Red is what it was, really, actually. Yeah, because Toby Keats, I Love This Bar. You're right, but I was just saying I love that bar. It's called Old Red. <laughs> you were not saying that, but that's funny. That's good. That's funny. Nice pivot. John, John Rich. John Rich is uh, Redneck Riviera. Yeah. Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett, Margaritaville. Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan's 32 Bridge. He went. He ran the table. He ran the table. Look at this wow. guy. See, I'm like you, Bobby. I pre- <laughs> like. What, what, you got to be like on me? top of what everybody else is doing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, you just kind of got to know. Like, you know, I pretend like I don't know or don't care, but I know. Mm. I know. I'm All on right. top of it. Well, listen. I'm happy you got a whole record of music coming out, and it looks like you got twinkle in your eye when you're talking about it. I do, man. It must be special. There's just a lot of special things going on right now in life, and um, I'm I'm very blessed. I'm blessed to have a lot of great things happening, but I'm great. I'm blessed to have a lot of great people around me, um, and we're all excited. We've got a lot of really really cool things happening. So thank y'all for always uh, embracing me here. And I really I was excited. I brought my twin brother here with me because he just moved to Nashville. I convinced him finally after all these years to move to Nashville and, and start his life over. And He's he moved here two days ago. I thought you meant literally like in here, and I'm like, where is he? No, he is here. I don't know. Oh, I, like, like, I, I was like, there's a guy in the corner I'm, I haven't seen before. No, like, that's not Jake's brother. <laughs> no, that's Ando. It's like that no. does not look like your twin, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Where is he? He's in the building, but he's yeah, gone? Yeah, he, he was walking in, and then... You should sit I, I him know, in here. I know your brother. Uh, no, okay. I, know. I thought no, you'd walk no. in and be like, I'm going down <laughs> to the honky talk. Oh, boy. Yeah, at any moment, he's going to bust through. should have tricked us. I know. I wouldn't have fallen for it. Oh, I would have probably. <laughs> I don't... I, well, well, listen, anyway, regard, Jake, good to see you, my friend. Yeah, thank, thank you, you guys Congratulations so much. on all the success and the announcement of the record. And uh, we'll see you in Vegas for uh, the Yeah, ACM. we'll see y'all out there. Thanks a lot. There he is. Jake, go on. See you. It's about the show.